is about the reactivity of group 16, 17 and 18 elements with oxygen. So if we talk about group 16, the group 16 elements react with oxygen and form two types of oxides. One is of EO2 type and one is of EO3 type. Now see, oxygen, this element reacting with O2 will give O3. The ox ozone is one of the oxide formed by oxygen. So EO2 type of oxide is O3, SO2 and SeO2. These three oxides are of the type EO2. If you see the reaction of sulfur dioxide and selenium dioxide, this is ozone O3. Sulfur dioxide combines with water to form H2SO3. Simple reaction. This is called a sulfurous acid. As. SO3. As. Oxidation state of sulfur is less here. SeO2 plus H2O combines to give H2SeO3. Again simple reaction called as selenious acid. Sulfurous. As. And selenious. As. Acid. Both. The oxides SO2 and SeO2 they are acidic in nature because they combine with water to form acids so they are acidic in nature. The other type of oxide that is formed by group 16 elements is of the type EO3. So examples we have as SO3, SeO3 and TeO3. So SeO3 combines with water to form H2SeO4, H2Se and O4 called as selenic acid. TeO3 trioxide, tellurium trioxide combines with water to form H2TeO4 called as telluric acid. So earlier madhe as hota ya case madhe ek ahe. So if you calculate the oxidation state in earlier as acids and ek acids, you will find that ek acids madhe the oxidation state will be of higher number. Higher number G A. You can calculate and check it. So that becomes ik oxidation state. A higher oxidation state. Manu ik alila hai. So all about three oxides. Three third kutla hai. Reaction is not written. It is SO3. SO3 is a reaction you can try with water. You will get H2SO4. So all these three oxides they are acidic in nature. Because these oxides combine with water to give an acid. So they are acidic in nature. So, indirect question ka sa yung shakto ki SeO3 oxide is acidic in nature. So, you have to show the reaction with water and say that as it is producing an acid, it is acidic in nature. This oxide is acidic in nature. Here the reaction is expected. We now come to group 17 elements. The different oxides form. Fluorine can form oxide OF2. Oxygen difluoride and O2F2. Oxygen fluoride, O2F2. Out of this, OF2 is, a ox is an oxide which is stable and this oxide is unstable. Cl can form oxides of the type Cl2O. Dichlorine monoxide, ClO2, chlorine dioxide. Cl2O6, Cl2O7, these are different oxides which are formed by chlorine. Out of this, the first oxide acts as bleaching agent. It is also used in paper industry and also used in water treatment. Water treatment because it contains chlorine. So used in water treatment. You can calculate the oxidation states of chlorine in each of the oxide. Ek oxygen sa hai? Minus 2. So from that you can calculate oxidation state of chlorine in each of the oxides. You can try doing it. Br. Bromine forms oxides as Br2O, BrO2 and BrO3. These are the three oxides which are formed by bromine. All the three oxides are found to be very powerful oxidizing agents. And when we come to iodine, iodine can form oxides I2O4, I2O5 and I2O7 type. These are the three types of oxides formed. Out of this, I2O5 is an oxide which is very powerful oxidizing agent. That is, it is capable of giving oxygen to the other member. It is, it can, it is acting as oxidizing agent when it is undergoing reduction, reduction, losing oxygen. Give oxy oxygen to somebody some other member is an oxidizing agent. So that is, it is undergoing reduction. So it acts as very good, powerful 
oxidizing agent. Now we come to the inert gases. Inert gases do not react. Here I have written inert gases do not show any reaction with oxygen. Of course, upon xenon sa kahi cases mathe pato hai, but uh, here it is given that with oxygen it does not give any of the reaction. They remain inert as the rock is complete.